right now we are going to talk to a couple of people that were involved in the All America City Award. And uh, joining us right now, Angela Stewart is the Community Initiatives Officer at the Battle Creek Community Foundation. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's uh, great to have you under these circumstances, especially today, uh, as uh, Battle Creek was announced the winner, a winner of the 2019 All-America City Award. We'll find out all about that coming up. Also, uh, Mo Ahmed is uh, with us from Battle Creek Public Schools, a recent grad. Good morning, Mo. Good morning. And uh, you got to make the trip, too, out to Denver? Yes, sir. Be, yes, I did. Um, we're going to find out more about that, too. I wanted to ask you, though, uh, you know, uh, when did you graduate from Battle Creek? Uh, this year, 2019. So uh, did you notice much of a change in, in your four years there at Battle Creek Central? Uh, uh, yes, a drastic change, actually, from my freshman year to my senior year. It was a, for the better, it, it, was, it was a nice change. I'm glad to hear you say that, you know, because there have been a lot of initiatives, a lot of people working hard. Of course, we got the big grant um, from the uh, Kellogg Foundation and others are supporting our, uh, our efforts in, in the school system. And it's nice to hear that you notice the change. What, what are a couple of things that, that really stand out? Um, just uh, a big one for me was teacher involvement and uh, just the elders and the adults around the school building just being more involved. Like from my freshman year, it wasn't so much like we were having principal problems and stuff like that. Then Mr. Hollander came in and everything got in order and we were straight and teachers were staying after school more and making sure that the kids were really on top of everything that they needed to do. And it was, it made it seem like they really, they really did care and we felt it like they were trying to give back. So. Cause it's just kind of a more positive feel yeah, it and, a more and it, positive feel like, oh yeah, I can't wait to go to school today instead of waking up like, oh man, we gotta go to school. Now, do you think it was, do you think your fellow students shared that? I mean, how many students felt the excitement? How many still were kind of apathetic about it? Well, you always gonna have those students who are empathetic about it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I think for the most part, it was a good handful of us who felt that way, like felt the change in school. And I, I started seeing more smiles and not so many down faces and people going to class and not so not as much skipping as there was. And it's just, it was, it was more of peer involvement too as well. Like students getting on other students about not going to class or getting their grades up and stuff like that. So it just felt like a better community and environment to be in as a whole. I can't tell you how exciting it is to hear uh, a recent grad say that. Yes, sir. That is great because, you excited know. excited for the, the new, new generation to come up. The uh, Battle Creek All-America City Award. I think it was about this time last year we were talking about, eh, hey, we fell just short. Uh, you know, we, we put in a lot of work. We went there. We did not win. But the thought was, you know what, this was really valuable. We learned a lot. And we are going to win it next time around. Absolutely. So we got to see a lot of different communities last year because there's 20 that are selected to go and compete uh, in Denver, Colorado for about a four day trip. And they go and compete and then they also get to present to one another and learn a little bit from one another. So this year, folks were excited to go and really present the different projects that we have going on because we were really excited about what we have going on in Battle Creek and that we could really highlight some of those things that they measure for the All-American City Award around engagement, collaboration, inclusiveness. So we felt like we were really prepared walking in this year. Yeah, I guess so. So how does it work? I mean, um, do you have, I mean, you only go out there once, right? Right. We only go out there once. So in order to even be a finalist, you had to submit what videos or written to, presentations? Yep. We had to submit um, an application that highlighted three projects that we had going on in Battle Creek. And this year the, the topic was health. And so we were able to pull three and actually it was a little bit difficult to narrow it down to three because we have a, a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. So when we narrowed it down to those three, we felt like we had some strong projects going into the application. And so they have a committee that reviews those applications and selects the top 20. I see. And so then uh, it becomes time to go out there and actually compete. 
How many people went in the delegation? We had 28 people that participated in the delegation out in Denver. Holy cow, 28 people? Yes. Man, that must have been one busy airport in Denver. It was very busy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that airport, too. It's got a different look. And uh, although once you once you leave the airport, it seems like you drive forever. But, uh, well, it depends where you're going, I guess. But, but so, so what was the setting for the competition? Where exactly was it held? It was held at a... Um, at a convention center downtown and so you had a lot of folks that were you know there was some groups that had there was one that had 88 people there so you had a packed house um during the competition and you all went there and many people got to watch each other's presentations and then they had some different learning times that you could go and attend but we pretty much took up that whole um conference center Wow. Now, how long do you, do you have a, a certain amount of time that's allotted for a presentation? Yes. So you have, it's very strict. You have two minutes to get up on stage um, from the back of the room. You have 10 minutes to present and you have two minutes to get off stage and out the back of the room. Wow. So it, they time you. <laughs> how do you do that with 28 people? Well, it's very coordinated, and we, we had a lot of practice time beforehand. Now, is that something that you looked at last year and, and thought, you know, we could improve upon that? We're going to have to do, we're going to have to drill over and over and over to just get it, uh, get it right? Yeah, I think last year what we heard from folks is that they wish they would have had some more practice time. But, I mean, we heard that this year, too, that folks wanted more practice time. And we actually spent the day before with, what, two and a half hours? <laughs> practicing yeah so I, I'm kind of trying to picture and were all 28 people involved in the 10 minute presentation we had um, different roles so we did have a few audience members to really try to hype up the crowd um, but most of the folks were on stage hmm. Wow and so basically you highlighted three programs, and, and we're going to talk about those a little bit, but did you kind of divide it up three minutes each, or what? I mean, how did that work? No, you know, it just depended on the content. So mm -hmm. we we had very specific things that the judges also wanted us to cover in our presentation, so we needed to make sure that we covered those aspects. And then we wanted to also give a little bit of information about Battle Creek in general. So the first part was um, about a little bit of our history, and then we got into the programs, and and then we really wanted to get people excited about Battle Creek. And so there's a lot of it's happening in Battle Creek. I guess so. Um, so um, how is it judged? How do they, I mean, is it a panel of judges sitting there like a dance recital or what? There is. There's a panel of 11 judges. Um, many of them are mayors from around the country. They might have won in the past. And they have those judges sitting and you perform to the judges, which is a little bit different when you have the audience sitting in a different spot than the judges. So you have to kind of turn and perform to those 11. Um, and then they're able to ask questions and they get about 10 minutes to ask questions. Oh, so, uh, so you, you actually get to stick around a little bit past the 10 minute presentation for question and answer. Yes. Wow. That's being on the spot, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So where do you think we hit the home run to, to pull this off? Was it was it everybody or was there like one area that you, you really felt like you was a, a slam dunk on the judges? Uh, I think what really stood out was our, like, our charisma and just our hypeness and how we presented ourselves. Because from the moment we walked through the doors to we left the stage, we... We had some sort of slogan or something that they could remember and it felt kind of nice because when we got our award and went on stage the crowd and the other um, contestants and the other people that were there um, cities and such they got to saying those chants and stuff back to us as we were up there so it really felt like we made an impact and we we, we really stuck to stuck out to them because they remembered that and it kind of, what we were saying. it parallels what you were talking about earlier, Mo, you know, it's a, an attitude and, you know, having a catch on and getting momentum and, uh, yeah, that's, it sounds like that, that's what made the difference this year. And well, we're talking with a couple of, uh, recent delegates. So there were 28 in all from Battle Creek that went to the all America 
uh, City Awards in Denver, Colorado. Angela Stewart is the Community Initiatives Officer from the Battle Creek Community Foundation. Mohamed is uh, a recent graduate of uh, Battle Creek Public Schools, just graduated. Uh, they were there. And uh, you mentioned, Angela, we, uh, we had to pick like three programs that uh, we're doing here in Battle Creek that could illustrate what we're trying to do. Uh, what were they? Yeah, so um, the three that we got to highlight for Battle Creek, we had Operation Fit, which is a program that's in many of our schools, and it's in partnership with Bronson Battle Creek, the Y Center, and the Regional Health Alliance. And that pro program works on increasing physical activity in the schools, um, proper nutrition, and improving the lunchroom environment for students, as well as creating policies and practices um, for example, um, creating a 24-hour smoking ban it, on school property rather than ending that smoking ban when school's out, things like that. Yeah, and I, I think we talked to, maybe it was Chef Mike from Firekeepers, going around the schools doing these little cooking classes and basically yes. showing people, hey, here's how you make healthy food out of healthy stuff. Absolutely. Firekeepers has been a great um, partner in that program because they've actually donated um, produce and snacks, and this through this year, we've had the program up and running for two years, they've donated over 34,000 pounds of produce um, to our school. So they've been right. an awesome partner and we were even able to highlight that piece for the All-American City Award. That's a little bit of a challenge to get uh, younger people to eat healthy because they're on the go. And, you know, I, I remember when I was that age, you know, but I'm, oh, you're an athlete. You have to take care of yourself. Uh, how would you rate yourself? Uh, and has uh, this program had any impact on your habits? Uh, it has a little bit because my mom works. My mom works through Operation Fit, so she brings some of the the healthy stuff home, and now she's like a healthy nut. So you got to walk the walk. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but me being an athlete, it did it does help because I do feel in better shape and up early in the morning. Usually not like this, so it's like <laughs> the greens and the the carrots and all that it is doing doing well for me really does make a difference. Uh, what was another area? So the CIT program, which is the Crisis and Intervention Team, and that's a partnership with Summit Point and the Battle Creek Police Department, where they're training officers on how to identify uh, mental illness and also address it out in the field. And so they had some other partners that went with them. Um, the National Alliance on Mental Illness um, also went to Denver, but they have many different partners that they work with to implement that program with the police department. And their stats were amazing. And the, I believe the judges were very impressed by those because they said that they've identified 400 cases um, of mental illness and only nine of those went um, were arrested and went to jail, um, which normally you would have seen much higher numbers within that 400. Great program. And uh, the School Behavioral Health Collaborative was the other? Yes, that was the other. So you have, um, we've been working in Battle Creek Public Schools for about a year and a half now, and then just recently started in Lakeview School District. And that work is really about addressing behavioral health needs for those students that are in the schools and how we can better work together between our providers. And so from there, we had representatives from each of the school, and then we also had Star Commonwealth that attended um, on behalf half of that work. And so that work has really expanded where we have an intake team that when it, there's a student that see, that has additional needs that need to be met, they're brought to that intake team and then that team determines what is the best fit for them for how we provide services. So it could be the peer review which has different clinicians that are sitting around the table and discussing the individual case and how to better serve that student. And then we also have a fusion team where you're you're talking uh, about students that might have a little bit greater need. They might already be on juvenile probation. There might be an open CPS case. There might be some additional things happening um, for that student or that family and how we better serve them. And then we have a couple programs that came out of that, one being the Handle with Care, um, which is where the police department is able to provide a list of names of students that had contact with police the night before to the school so that the school can then make sure that they you know, they are able to handle that student with care. So they know that something's happened. They have no details about what has happened, if 
you know, the student could have been a victim, it could have been a student that got in a little trouble that evening, you know, and something like that. And they're just, they just know that they just need to touch base with that student and make sure they're okay. Because mm. if they're coming in the classroom, it's just like if you have a hard day at work. You go home, you might be a little agitated, and you know, it, you might not have a good evening because of what happened at work. It works the same way for the students walking into the school if they have a bad night. You know, how are they going to show up to school the next day? Obviously, people who uh, have, you know, seen different programs like this in various cities across the country saw a lot of merit in the way that we're doing it here. Yes. Awarded Battle Creek the uh, All-America City Award for this year. Um, a lot of people involved in, you know, in this. I know that the city manager, Rebecca Fleury, is really big, you know, just a big cheerleader on this whole thing. And But, but there are a lot of people involved. Yes, and Rebecca went with us to Denver, of course, and she had another staff member, um, Jessica, that went with her. And then we also had Vice Mayor Sh Sherry Sophia that went with us. Okay. And uh, BC Visions very involved with it as well. Yes, we are. Yep. And, uh, and of course, uh, Community Foundation is, uh, goes right along with that. But, uh, well, congratulations. Uh, by the way, Mo, uh, what are your plans now that you're out of school? Uh, plan to attend Olivet in the fall to continue and pursue playing football and then to do bowling in the winter. And then I'm going to double major in insurance, risk management, and business and marketing. Sounds like you got a great plan, and uh, Olivet's a great school. I love it up there. A nice little small town with some big giant trees. <laughs> yes, you don't sir. see that everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mo, best of luck to you, and you. Uh, and again, and Angela, also thanks very much for being with us, and congratulations to all of us uh, in Battle Creek, an All-America City winner for 2019.